Good morning, Internet friends. How are we doing today? Sassy's doing sleepy. And the boys are doing... We are playing with each other. And Sassy's not happy about it. So, I'm on spring break. Yay, which is why I'm not going to class. But... I contemplated not vlogging today because I had a new occurrence come up and it looks horrible. But, you know, I'm vlogging about life and a lot of my anxiety this morning came from this thing. So I'm going to show you. Are you ready for this? Three, two, one. My eye is very swollen and red and it hurts and it looks horrible. <laughs> So, I don't know if you guys could tell, I, I was able to notice last night where like it looked like I had a red rash kind of going across my eye here. I've had a sty, which I think I probably rubbed something in while I was at work. But now my eye is swollen and it hurts. And I'm going to be going to the doctor. I'm getting ready to go to the doctor actually to see what the crap is going on with my face. Um... Anytime I move my head one way or another or look down, I can feel fluid moving in it. And if I try to close my eyes, it's extremely painful. So, yeah, but I'm telling you about this lovely thing because um, this morning I was starting to really panic about my eye. Like I was panicking about, oh my gosh, what's wrong? And like laying in my bed freaking out. And just, out of nowhere, little boy, he, like, snuggles right up beside me. I got him to alert a few times. Um, and then he just laid beside me, let me pet him. I kept telling him, you know, you're a good boy, you're doing great. At one point, he willingly put his head across my neck, which he has never done yet. And at one point, he put his entire body across me without being told for pressure. So, he was... Or once, like, responding to my anxiety. And, I mean, I was pretty sure that you could smell the cortisol, like, from five miles away. Because I was that much in a panic. And, of course, since he was snuggled up to me, like, I was pretty sure he could smell it by now. Um, but he did fantastic. I was so proud of him. He was responding to my anxiety and alerting without me having to tell him to do it. A couple of times he did, I did tell him to do it because I wanted to see if he would. And yeah, so. Still a little bit worried about my eye, but I'll let you guys know whenever I know something. So, yeah, that's how my morning is. So, good morning everyone, and I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys, so you may be wondering, why do you have a heat pack on your face? Well, came back from the doctor and turns out I had a sty that went rogue. Which, in a nutshell, means I had a zit on my lash line, and it got infected. So, yeah. I spent 45 minutes at the doctor, had a bad panic attack while I was there. If you saw my Snapchat, my social media, you saw my adventure. And I freaked out thinking it was going to be something bad, and or I'd have to have needles put in or something, but I just needed antibiotic drops and heat. So, here's what it looks like right now. It's still swollen. Still painful. There we go. Can you get a better look that way? Um, this is the one position I could lay in where it doesn't feel like fluid is moving to one side or the other and causing pain. I've been napping. My eye feels funny now from having a heat pad on it. And I've been having my wonderful doggo snuggling with me. There's Mr. Riddler. And there, where's this? Where's Emerald? Oh, he's right there. There he is. Hi, bud. So that's been helpful. Um, but yeah, now I'm probably just gonna listen to some YouTube and continue putting heat on my face, and I'll check back in with you later.